What's up everybody, my name's Kirk. Welcome to Connect. When you play video games, do you finish each level as fast as you can or do you complete every single challenge in the level before you finish it? I'm a fast as you can kind of person. Well, at Connect HQ today, they're trying to level up fast, but it takes time to get the point. Now we have a point that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat after me. Are you ready? Here we go. Jesus disciples, call him teacher and Lord. Great job. Now, we're going into worship, and so let's go to Connect HQ right now to learn more. Hmm, does anybody know an awesome way to connect to God? Shout it out, let me hear it. Ooh, those are some good guesses. I like that one, but let me tell you about the one I was thinking of. How about we sing a song to God? Like when we give him our full attention and tell him how great he is. When we worship, it connects us with God because we thank him for everything he's done for us. So let's get on our feet and connect to God together. Love so incredible, unexplainable.
And level up! Woo! Alright. Hey, Maurice. Did someone say level up? Is someone playing a video game? Yeah, I said level up and I'm playing a video game. I knew it. Wow, you're pretty good. But you know I'm pretty good too. <clears throat> I could level up with my eyes closed. I can level up in my sleep. I can level up even when I'm leveling down. But that doesn't make sense. You don't have to make sense when you level up as much as I do. <clears throat> Wait, in my experience, leveling up takes a dedication and discipline. It doesn't happen in an instant. Oh, well, let me show you. Prepare to be amazed. Prepare to be dazzled. Prepare to... Ignore that. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is how we learned to be better disciples. Now, if you fall down there, you're gonna lose the game, so what you wanna do is not fall down there. That's obvious. Hey, Mike, Maurice, just the two people I was looking for. This is Claire and Liam. Hello. Hi, Claire and Liam. Don't you guys wanna know who they are? Claire and Liam. Yeah. Would you guys give me that? Come here. Oh, hey! Man. I was about to level up. Claire and Liam won our Interns of the Day contest. Oh, that's great! Yeah, congratulations! Wait, what's an intern? Well, an intern is basically a trainee that is looking to gain experience and knowledge. I assign them to you two. Claire, you'll be with Mike. Liam, you'll be with Maurice. I can't wait to get to work. Ugh. I'm gonna learn so much. So spend the day showing these guys the ropes and teaching them everything that you've learned since working here at Connect HQ, okay? Think of them as kind of disciples. <gasps> like Jesus' disciples! Yeah, but Jesus' disciples are a little bit different. How so, exactly? Well, Jesus' disciples call him teacher and Lord, and it's because of his sacrifice on the cross and his love for us that we get to be his disciples. So he can teach you all because he knows all. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I could live up to those standards. <laughs> well, the most important thing is Jesus, so no one can live up to those standards. But it's a great model to live by so that we can, mm, what, as you would say, level up. Oh. I can't wait. Mike and Marie seem super normal and relaxed. Yeah, they seem like sensible guys who always remain calm. Yeah. I've already thought of a million things that I'm gonna make Claire do. And Liam is gonna literally know everything by the time I'm done with him. I bet my intern levels up so fast. <laughs> Not as fast as mine. Mm. I bet my intern's gonna be the greatest intern that ever interned in the history of interning in the internal world. Well, my intern will be an even better intern. Is that a challenge? Yeah, I think my intern is gonna level up way more than your intern. Are you saying that your intern's gonna level up way more than my intern? That's exactly what I just said. Well, we'll guess we'll just have to see now, won't we? I guess so. Liam, we're out here! Where's our interns? I thought they were right behind us. I bet I find mine first. You're on. <laughs> All right, are you ready to intern? Yeah! We do a lot of tasks around here. Are you ready to learn about every single one of them? Are you ready to check off more boxes than you thought humanly possible on this insanely large stack of paperwork? Yeah! Wait, what? My old buddy Luke left this comprehensive, easy to follow list of every single possible spiritual discipline imaginable. That says year long plan. I bet you could do it in a day. All of this? Yep. Jesus' disciples were really good at following instructions, so I'm using that as my guide. Well, I was hoping to spend some time with you and learn from you, but I guess you know best. That's what I like to hear. All right, verse one. Sit in contemplative silence for a hour. All right, ready, set, go. So I just... Ba, 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 ba. Uh... All right, this is good. <sighs> Ooh. 
All right, intern Liam, Liam the intern. Intern Master Liam, super intern. Are you ready to do some interning? Oh yeah. All right, the first thing we gotta do is stretch out because what we're doing, we're gonna need it. I'm a pretty good athlete, so whatever it is, I'm ready. All right, just follow me then. First thing is just reach your hands behind your, well, grab your fingers. Okay, they're touching, that's good enough for me. All right, now reach down and touch your toes. Touch your toes, touch, toes, oh, touch your ankles. Okay, touch your knees, touch your knees. Oh, okay. Now this last one is called the pregnant swan. Just grab your leg and go like this. Yeah, there you go. All right, shake it out. So what are we doing? Lifting heavy things, pushing big stuff around? Close, but in another more accurate way, not close at all. What is that? It's the Bible, audio version. And I'm gonna listen to it? Yep, the whole thing. Memorize it too, you'll know like everything. Book of Genesis. But this'll take all day. What if I have questions? Ah, you'll be through it in no time. If we crank this baby up to five times the speed. There you go, if you have any questions, I'll be in the lounge. <laughs> so, has your intern leveled up yet? Oh, for sure. She's probably leveling up currently as we speak. What about yours? <laughs> Gotta be at like level 50 million by now. Hey guys. Wait, where are your interns? I, I know that they were super excited about visiting with you guys all day long. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's great. Yeah, really great. I've got Liam listening to the entire Bible at super speed. And I've got Claire going through a stack of spiritual disciplines. Should take her all day. Uh, that doesn't sound very good, guys. What do you mean? They're being good disciples. They're learning all that they should know. And following instruction to the finest detail. That's not exactly what I had in mind when I was talking about disciples. Um, oh, you know what? Okay, I have a story that I think will help you guys understand. There, it's under the heading, The Rich Young Ruler. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. is alive. One day, Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem. A rich young leader came running to Jesus. He got down on his knees and asked Jesus a question. Good teacher, what do I need to do to live with you forever in heaven when I die? Good teacher, why do you call me good? Only God is truly good. I believe you are from God, teacher. Hmm. Well, to answer your question, you know the Ten Commandments, right? You must not murder. You must not be unfaithful to your wife. You must not steal. You must not tell lies. You must not cheat anyone. Honor your father and mother. Oh yes, teacher. I've obeyed all these commandments since I was a kid. Is that all? Jesus looked at the man with a smile. He loved this young man. Jesus really wanted this man to follow him and could see what was holding him back. Well then, there's still one thing you haven't done. Go and sell everything you own and give your money to the poor so you will have treasure in heaven. Then I want you to come follow me and be one of my disciples. When the man heard this, his face fell. Instead of saying yes to Jesus' offer, he walked away, feeling sad. 
He didn't want to give up his stuff. It would be easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. You can't get there holding on to the things you love here on earth. You have to let go of the things on earth to grab on to the things of heaven. The disciples wondered, who in the world could be saved then? Isn't that too hard for anyone to do? With your own human strength, it is impossible. But with God's strength, everything is possible. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, said, We've given up everything to follow you, Jesus. Yes, you have. And I promise you that everyone who has given up everything to follow me and spread the good news will receive a reward a hundred times better. In life on earth, you'll face hard times and suffering, but you'll get eternal life. Those who are the greatest now will be the least important then. Those who seem the least important now will be the greatest in heaven. The rich young ruler learned God's ways and spent his whole life following them. And he had no problem calling him teacher. And yet, Jesus knew he was holding back. He couldn't bring himself to leave behind his old life and spend the rest of it following Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rich young ruler actually missed out on being a disciple of Jesus because he wouldn't make him his Lord. Now, you don't have to sell all your stuff or give away all your money to follow Jesus. But it does mean more than just following instructions. Or learning all there is to know. Mm -hmm. It's about a daily relationship with him. Being a disciple of Jesus is about following him daily and knowing him as Lord. Because remember, Jesus' disciples call him teacher and Lord. Our interns didn't need a list to check off. Or their heads crammed with knowledge. They wanted a relationship with us. That's the kind of discipleship they need. And then you guys will really level up. Oh, oh wow, this is done. All finished. Where am I? Yeah, what's going on? We messed up real bad. We wanted to treat you guys like disciples, but instead we just treated you like video game characters. Just wanted to level up. Being a disciple, really following Jesus, is a lifelong commitment, and it takes discipline and dedication. And it can't be done in an afternoon. Jesus said so himself in the book of John, chapter 13, verse 13. Let's say it like this. John, John 13, 13. John 13, 13. You call me teacher and Lord. You call me teacher and Lord. You are right, that is what I am. You are right, that is what I am. Being a disciple is about choosing to belong to Jesus and really getting to know him. So how about we start over, do this intern thing right? That sounds good to me. Yeah, let's do it. We'll show you how things are really done around here. Hey interns, how's it going? Great, Mike showed me how to find a perfect Bible ink. And Marie showed me how to cushion your fall when you accidentally drop from the ceiling. And they are definitely lifelong dedicated learners who do more than check off boxes. Or know all there is to know. Oh, well it sounds like you all leveled up. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike and I'm with Connect HQ. And we learned some things about discipleship today that I wanted to share with you. The Bible tells us this in the book of John. Say it with me, like this. John 13, 13. You call me teacher and Lord. You are right, that is what I am. The disciples didn't think that Jesus was just a good teacher or that he was some guy that knew a lot of stuff. They called him Lord and followed him daily. The rich young ruler learned God's ways and followed them his whole life. He had no problem calling Jesus teacher, but Jesus knew something held him back. He was distracted by his money and possessions, and the young ruler missed out on becoming Jesus' disciple because he wouldn't make Jesus his Lord. Do you have to sell all your stuff and give your money away to follow Jesus? 
No. But if there's anything that distracts you from Jesus and keeps you from following him, you can talk to a trusted friend or leader about how to get it under control. When Maurice and I had Claire and Liam just check boxes off a list or learn as much as possible, they struggled. But we learned that discipleship is more than that. It's a daily commitment. To be a better disciple of Jesus, remember, Jesus' disciples call him teacher and Lord. It's a daily friendship with Jesus that requires you to follow him in everything that you do. I hope this helps. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. And level up! Woo! Level up? You're playing video games again? Yep. You think you can get on my level? If I'm disciplined, I bet I can. Why won't this work? What's going on? This is the hardest game ever. It's on pause. Oh. Wow, listening to the Bible at five times the speed is wild. This guy talks super fast. It'd be really hard to memorize verses this way. When we are a true disciple of Jesus, we should constantly be leveling up our relationship with him. It's a daily commitment. But maybe you've never started that relationship with Jesus and you wanna know how to make that choice. If you wanna to decide to follow Jesus with your entire life, just remember your A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. And if you wanna make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. That is the most important decision that you can make. If you wanna know more about that, I want you to talk to a trusted adult before we finish today. All right, we have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I need you to say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. John 13, 13. You call me teacher and Lord. You are right. That is what I am. Great job. Now, when we learn about Jesus or from him, he is our teacher. When we choose to follow him and make him most important in our life, he is our Lord. Now, I'm gonna read a few ideas. If you think it shows Jesus is your teacher, make a little apple shape with your hands, just like this. Can you see that? If you think it shows Jesus is your Lord, make a cross with your arms, just like this. Got it? Okay, there's no right or wrong answers here. Just go with what you think. Here's the first one. Studying Jesus in the Bible. Is that Jesus as the teacher for you? Like that? <laughs> or is it Jesus as Lord? All right, here's the next one. Choosing to follow Jesus. Is that Jesus as Lord or teacher? Living like Jesus. Learning about Jesus at church. Which one do you think it is? Is that Jesus as Lord or teacher? Worshiping Jesus. Is that Jesus as teacher for you or Jesus as Lord? Great job. Now, disciples know that Jesus is more than just a good teacher. He is also the Lord of everything. Now, we have some fantastic questions for you and your family to answer. Thank you so much for being a part of Connect Today, and I will see you guys later.